Hello, I'm Janelle and I live in a van with my pet snake, Alfredo. Let me go shut that back door real quick. All right, so here's the deal guys. I, I am in Joshua Tree, California. And I left from Los Angeles last night at like 1 a.m. So I'm a little sleep deprived. It is currently 2 p.m. So I'm actually not that sleep deprived, but um, I am a little disoriented. Basically, my reasoning for coming to Joshua Tree is one, I just had to get the heck out of LA for a little bit. And two, because of this vest, that I had got at an antique fair in Sacramento. And you might be wondering, what does this vest have to do with anything? Well, if you look close, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Let me put Alfredo away. If you look closely at this vest, there's a horse and like mountains. It's basically a very, very Western style vest. So the reason I'm in Joshua Tree right now is because I know there are all these like hole in the wall, um, vintage shops that are like very western themed because we are in the middle of the desert so i really 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 want to kind of transform my closet and go with like a cowgirl theme i really want some cowboy boots and i thought it'd be cool to have like a little fashion show at joshua tree national park like it is so beautiful and also when i say that i'm in joshua tree i lied i'm in morongo valley but i'm currently parked outside of a vintage store it's called morongo trading post and i drove by it last time i was here and i didn't have a chance to go in because they had closed when i was here last time and now they're open and i really want to shop everything that i own is in this van and 50 percent of my van is my closet am i ashamed of that no not really so we are going to go into this store and get a shopping on. I'm so excited. I love clothes. Sorry. Every time I go thrifting, I always like, my mission is always to find jeans because I can never find jeans. And I always, walk out with a skirt or a dress because I don't have self-discipline. Oh. It's gonna be a good day. Okay, so I had a little bit more self-restraint this time. Um, I ended up buying just one pair of earrings and a pin. One, I didn't really find a lot of Western wear that fit me. And then two, they did have some cowboy boots, but I don't want to jump the gun on those yet. They're just brown. I want to see if another store has like pink ones or something. I don't know. We're going to drive like two minutes that away and go to another thrift store um, or vintage store. It is four o'clock, all these stores close at five, and I have like four more stores that I wanna to go to. So that might be the last one. Um, if we're lucky, we can fit in two. So I wasn't particularly drawn to anything at this store. Um, price range was like $10 to like, four hundred dollars and there were a couple things that I did like but I just couldn't justify like I know this like whole cowboy phase that I'm going through is a phase or maybe it's not I don't know I don't really know if I want to spend like that much money on a phase so off to the next shop I 
had like a little glimmer of hope because they had so many cowboy boots, but literally none of them were my size. So we're just gonna continue tomorrow. On that note, I think I deserve to eat some food. Okay, I've been like eating pretzels because I'm so hungry, but you know how I said that we're gonna go get like actual food? I lied. We are actually gonna go to this thrift store right now that I'm really surprised is still open because they said they close at five, but they're still open and it's like really close to where I wanna eat. So yeah, also now we're officially in Joshua Tree. Um, the past couple stores were like in Morongo and then Yucca and then I don't know, some other city, but it's like, they're all the same. Okay, so stores here, food's there, vans there. We're on a mission, baby. Oh my God, I almost just flashed my nipple. I'm really looking for some cowboy boots. Okay, I'm over it. I'm so over it. We are. I'm just gonna grab a jacket and then we're gonna walk across the street to get some pizza. Um, oh, it's dark in here now. If you didn't know, pizza is my favorite food. Okay, so I picked up my pizza and now I'm debating where to park I really I'm tired I'm really really tired I drove like basically all through the night last night and then like didn't really get that much sleep so I'm thinking that we go to camp at like one of the campgrounds in the national park it's like something I've never done before I never pay for camping just because I never really had to and I really don't have to now but I do want to go to Joshua Tree in the morning Anyways, so let's go. I'm gonna drive back to Yucca Valley, but since we're already here, I kind of just want to drive through the park. Like I've I've been here before, but it's kind of like fun to drive at night because you never know like what wildlife is just gonna like pop out. When I was in Point Reyes, I literally saw like a million different animals. Well, not a million, like five. This is what I do for fun. Okay, update. I don't know why I'm whispering, but I did not find any animals. So I'm gonna go to bed. Well, actually, no, we're gonna find parking and then I'm gonna eat my pizza over and out. I'm gonna eat my pizza and go to bed. Good night. Good morning. Um, I got ready really quickly and like tried to tidy up the van a little bit, but I just wanna show you really quickly where we parked last night. Um, so. This is Kylie Lake and according to online, this is BLM land. So it's kind of a free for all for camping. So if you're a van life, cowboy boots because that is why we came here in the first place I mean I came here for an abundance of reasons but that was like the main goal what am I doing right now back in the van um i literally found the cowboy boots of my dreams so i'm stoked about that and i also got a pair of jeans okay we're like waiting in line to enter the national park and i got my park pass i don't know guys it's it's very very windy the van's literally shaking i don't know i'll just hide behind a rock or something it well We'll make it work.
Okay, I was just outside in my this outfit, and it's it's too cold. It's too cold, and I can't do it. So we're gonna have a little fashion show in Mikasa. Okay, so this is outfit numero uno. Okay. Oh wait, where's my hat? The van's a mess. It's cold, and I'm hungry. But I'm determined to get this video out tomorrow, so. All right, I'll be back for number two. Okay, this is outfit number two. I can see me wearing this all day, every day. And it has pockets, or one pocket. Oh, maybe with this hat. Oh yeah. Okay, on to the third look. Okay, so this is the shirt that I got, and then these are the Wrangler jeans. It's really hard to like model clothes in a space that you can't stand up in, but we're doing it. Yeah, so this just has like a tie in the middle, and this top just gives me kind of like witchy vibes because of this whole black velour going on. These jeans fit me so good. I just put a belt on for the, for the look. All right, on to the next. I feel like someone's mom. Like I'm gonna go grocery shopping. Hey Timmy, what Lunchable do you want? Okay, next outfit. I love this jacket so much. This is probably my favorite find like ever in life. Actually, these, just cause it was so hard to find these, I definitely appreciate these boots, but this jacket, is everything. So I have paired it with these like high-waisted flare jeans. And I also am wearing them with these like really cute vintage candies, like wood-heeled flowered shoes. Oh my God, they still have the tag on them. I got them for $4.75, what a steal. Whoever made this jacket, I just wanna say that I love you from the bottom of my heart and that I will be keeping this jacket until the day I die. In fact, I wanna be buried in this jacket. I'm gonna flip it inside out because I really like the other side as well. Oh, this button's about to fall off. <gasps> it fell off. Okay, so this is the same jacket, just inside out. I mean, I like the other side because it has like more colors, but I love pink. So this is definitely an option. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am so sorry that we didn't get to have a desert fashion show, but it is way too cold and I did not account for cold weather. Um, yesterday it was 75 degrees and today it is 48. I don't know who, what, when, or where allowed that to happen, but it's cold and I don't wanna get sick again. Um, being sick in the van is the worst, but I did have a really good time shopping at all those vintage and thrift stores and if you're ever in the joshua tree morongo valley yucca valley area i definitely recommend popping into one of those vintage stores so you can find really cool things like this or this or these these are actually a little bit of a struggle um but maybe you'll have better luck than me. I love shopping at vintage and thrift stores and shopping secondhand because I'm able to express myself through my style, but not only that, it is ethical and sustainable, so I 100% recommend buying secondhand. Anyways, I think I'm gonna stop talking now. Toodles.